Welcome back. This is The Edge. Thank you so much for joining me. We're back on Imperion. This is Season 7, Episode 2. And yes, we're going to build a underground bunker base. Uh, thank you very much for Ken. And this guy is stuck here, man. Is he dead? He cannot dig here. Is he... He is now. Uh, okay, we reach. Okay, so we actually got... Huh, that's not so bad. Uh, we can't even go into him. He's stuck inside here for some reason. There we go. Oh, there we go. We'll take it all. We don't have a fridge or anything, but I don't know. Just so he can get the hell out of our way. There's a lot of uh, pointers for keeping spoiled meat and other plants. Uh, very useful for crafting. And also that if we place our block down currently, uh, what happens is our block, as soon as it, it was put down, our base block, um, the... That's when the drones start coming and attacking us. So we have to prepare ourselves for that during that period. Uh, for now, no base block, no attack. So we will be glad enough, uh, gladly enough, sorry, God, English, hello. Gladly enough to uh, to actually get this going at the proper time. So we're not gonna put anything else down here. We're gonna put the core back in here. We can drop that down. Right, is our helmet off? The helmet is off, good. All right, cool. So this is still crafting here, we're actually, Gang our ironing nits, which is actually from what we're digging here. Uh, I'm not sure how much more left is available, but we have to do this before it gets too dark. So uh, we're going to dig a little more. This is part of it. Oh, wait, we're out of drill charges. Damn. Damn. All right. Maybe I should have just looked a little closer. All right, let's go back in here. Did I build any drill charges? I did not build any. Why not? What were we missing for that? Okay, this should be the last one anyways for this last two. Uh, this is what comes out three. I just need two of those. There you go. So that should be the last one for this iron. So we'll be able to get at least our drill charges, uh, which gives us an output. Uh, each time you do this, it gives you an output of three. So you're going to get six of these total, which is a good start. You don't want to overdo it. Uh, right now, this is going to take fuel packs. One of the fuel packs right here, uh, which is... Do you hear that? I'm so sure I heard something. All right, I thought I heard a drone coming. I was like, shit. We did build near a drone pass, so I mean, it wouldn't surprise me to see one. But uh, I was hoping that we wouldn't have to see one just yet. Not yet, at least, it's all good. Uh, while we're doing this, uh, we can at least... Build as many as these you can. So we got the pellets. Why not have the power back? All right, cool. Did I grab the last one? Or did I just leave it there? I left it there. There we go. This meat's never gonna last. We need power and stuff before we can do it. So the meat's gonna spoil. I suppose we have to keep that stuff. So maybe we'll we'll check that out uh, and try it out and see if we can do it. So let's recharge, reload this. It is gonna get dark very shortly. So we gotta get our asses in gear. Right now, it's all about digging. So our main goal right now is to go quite deep uh, and build our way through this and make sure we have enough of a raft to get back up. We don't wanna get stuck all the way down here. So the key to this also is make sure you, you build yourself a way out. Uh, I'm telling you now, you <laughs> lights out of jetpacks, but make sure you have at least a stairway. just to make sure you can reach it. Uh, and again, it is gonna be crucial to do it, so uh, don't be shy. This is gonna be the best base to build. Uh, I mean, so yeah, I know a whole bunch of you uh, have mentioned that they can't really attack your base properly. It does cover, it makes sense. I thought about doing it underwater, but it was a lot of issues. Uh, we built a lot on the water, and now we're gonna try something a little different. We built it a ton. Crash ship with Omicron. But I, I got a hovercraft going here too, so. Let's just get as much as this as possible. This is, we know, this is part of the game. You gotta be prepared. So if we wanna make something big, you gotta make the room for it too. 
flying out all over the place, we're sure this is the depth we want to go. Pick up our iron. There we go. Again, if you're new to this game, it's it's really imperative that you, you do the, the steps, you know, to get yourself prepared. And now that Ken told us about that base block, make sure you're prepared to defend your base. Because uh, those attacks will come. And you don't want to be caught unprepared. Alright, let's get this. Alright, alright, come on, come on. It's a pretty good size already, I mean... I don't know how much bigger we want to go here. Maybe a little more wide on a base. What we could do is build the block down and then we could continue to drill and pick up the other resources for the iron. I'll just be around here anyway, so it's not a big deal. I'll just pick up the iron as we need it. Uh, we're not fortified to actually stay here the way it is. And the blocks don't have the... If you dig around them, they're not going to crash or go down, so the physics are there for that. Not yet, at least. Maybe they will. That's the future of the game. But this is a large deposit. Usually you get deposits of three or four, but they upped the deposits. Uh, for this update 4.0. Which is not a bad thing, I'll tell you right now. I'm, I'm not crying about it. The more you give us, the better off it is. We want to be able to build where we can, and uh, resources should be available for us, and making them bigger, it's quite nice. We are going to need other kind of materials too, so... Alright, that should be should be a good start. Sometimes you get a little turned around when you're in here to make sure you're going the right way. See it's still a lot of iron down here. This is a massive deposit. Massive. Widen this up a little bit. We're going to build some blocks. I think we're going to have to get some blocks going. Preparing ourselves for defensive wise. Actually, no, let's get that rolling now before we go any deeper here because that's going to take a while to build, anyways. And always keeping that a way out is imperative until you get the blocks in. So it's going to look up. So it's gone quite round here. Uh, we have to have to build out a little further on this side here. In other words, just come out here and softness out a bit. Look at the amount of freaking iron. It's unbelievable. It's a huge deposit. I don't think I've ever seen anything this big. By now, I'd always see, you know, rocks and be very quick to go through. This is a massive deposit. Which is superb. I'm superb. No complaints here, brother. No complaining. I'm gonna need lights, too. Uh, we can actually build... How many lights do we have on this? One, eh? We want a flashlight and one work light. I'll take the work light. And face it the other way. I don't know how good that is. Probably not good enough, but it's okay. Like I said, we're, we're building big. We're gonna build a, quite a large base in there. All right, so we're gonna build some blocks here. We're gonna need. Um, we're not going to lay it down yet. Supposedly that's if we lay it down. So we're actually haul blocks here. So we need eight haul blocks. 
And again, we don't have any hall blocks that we've built. I don't think we have, no. So we're gonna have to go out and build those blocks. So these are hall blocks here. And they take two plates. So we have 98. That should be good enough. Then we can build some plates with that. Which the output of these are 10, so you have to kind of be careful. Considering it's gonna take five ingots of, uh, of iron, but we have so much iron right now. It's almost sick. Uh, let's put that here. There we go. So these two are together. Alright, so now as soon as it's done. Oops. So that's a rather Prometheon after this, so we have to make sure we be very careful with that one. Okay, so we got those blocks going. That's cool. So we're going to build one base starter kit, which we do not have. We used to get uh, a lot of stuff for that. I remember at one point we got a base starter kit. But it was all good. So you have to make sure you have your core in here. And base starter is pretty much one core. You see it open in green. And eight hall blocks. So we have eight hall blocks which we built. And we built a couple of those. And while we're waiting for that. Well, it does add a little bit of light, but not enough. Definitely not enough. Let's see if this wideness out of it, how far we can go. Because it's nice to go down deep there. But, and that's god awful deep. We went, to, I think, I think I just wanted to continue to dig. Uh, we can actually, I'm pretty sure we can place it on a flat surface and then build outwards, and then we can build a mine shaft going down here with an elevator. We continue mining as we go through this. Oh, we gotta be careful with this light, because if we... If we're, uh... Sorry, those monsters just distracting me. Uh, if we're not careful, the actual mining light itself, uh, this light will actually disappear. So we have to be kind of careful with it. Uh, where we're actually wanting to drill. So what we can do is... Make sure it's at the end portion. Like over here. Uh, rotate you. No, the other way. Get back up here. See how this looks over here. Ugh. Not great, but uh, yeah. Gonna have to do. Gotta make some ruin on the side here for the blocks. Again, we'll have to pick up all the iron we can. Don't let it go to waste. I'm telling you now, <laughs> it's it's so unfair to this stuff, and to have this much of it this early, it's really amazing. So how's your build, guys? Make sure you comment in the fields how you guys are doing with your builds. If you guys are building, uh, I know Ken is playing along with the same seed, so it'll be interesting to see what he does. And again, community base guys, uh, share your information, tips and tricks. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's a great place, resource for everybody to talk. Everybody's very respectful. Everybody's very cool. Uh, I think there's nobody who thinks they're better than anybody else, which is really nice. I, I like the attitude. Honestly, it makes me want to make more videos every time. You guys are amazing. All right. If you're new to this channel, you know, thank you. Welcome. Uh, don't be shy. The community's there. Ask questions. Really good resource people here who play us a lot. And uh, they're always here around. I mean, I, I see them every day almost, if not uh, every second or third day. They're always here. So don't be shy. All right. I think that's a pretty good start. I like the way this layout's coming on the left here. Careful to see the angle we're in because there we go. Now we have to just kind of flatten this out a bit and then we can mine on it. I think once we build that, we can build the structure and have to worry about 
pick up the rest of the iron in different ways. Because right now, I don't think this is the last thing we're going to be running out of. And I'm sorry it's dark, guys. I really am. But it's part of the game. There should be a way to sleep, though, through it. I mean, that'd be awesome if you could just use the beds that they have there and make one head off the bed and wake up in daytime. That would actually be a really cool feature. I got this is very early access. We got level five right And if you guys don't know what that is, I'll show you right now. As we go and check our machine. I think it looks okay on the right. I can't really see too well with the lights that we have in the structure right now, but it's okay. Um, and you look at a tech tree right here. Now we're level five. And so you have all these things on top of your capital vessel, uh, hover vessel, so hover to make sure up to level five. And we do need uh, to increase these things. So this we have to go click here and unlock. Bam, and your points are here available, points to unlock. So you make sure you pick up your stuff you can. You have auction stations right here, auction tanks, uh, which you don't need on this, but I mean, these are the kind of things you're gonna need anyways. So I just unlock them. And a small constructor, we could have a need for that right now. Passenger seat, we don't have a need for that right now. Cockpit three, spotlight cube, that's pretty handy-ish. We have to need that to get the lights anyways. And a small fridge would probably be handy. And it's a mini turrets, there we go. That's what we're looking for. And normal thrusters. Cool. So we're unlocking what we need. Uh, again, we can also go back to base blocks and see if there's anything else we need here, which we need oxygen station. No, we do not. We do need a fridge. Uh, we just complained about not having any for our nice meat we found. And elevator blocks will be handy. And definitely lights. And yes. So cool. I think we just wasted all our points, uh, which I like. Not really, but it's done. So at least that's done. We can actually start looking at building other things too. So we got to actually have the base starter block, which we can build off of. And here we can build a couple more of these. It's two, it makes a hundred. It's gonna pull out a hundred of these here. And maybe we can start the blocks here. Uh, base starter kit kind of worries me in its own way. Now we unlock that. We need the bigger constructor to do all this stuff. So all the things we unlocked, we can't see it. So we got a small fuel tank. So we literally we have to start building as we go. And that's gonna be imperative. So you see capacitors, reactor core, uh, these kind of things need to be in here and ready to go. I thought we had a reactor core. Did they take that away from us too? Or did I lose that in some stupidity? No, they took that away from us, didn't they? Yeah, it's okay. So we need more mortars and pipes. So the pipes itself, we'll just get some more going. Again, we have to worry about iron. We are full, uh, way more than usual. Yeah, put as well on this one. Who's that putting this one? Same, okay. So we'll get 30, 40 of those while we're still pushing and some capacitors we can do a couple of those the only thing i do like about the drones coming is that they they give us the ability to kill off some stuff here which is nice i think magnesium powder is what we're low on yeah we're quite low but we need you need to build the oops we don't need two of those make a mistake there we go all right I wonder if we can just put the blocks down right now. I think we can. Put some blocks down and make some space for the, the actual space starter, but then again. How much ammo do we have? 130. Should be enough to protect ourselves for now. I know I don't like it, but I think it's just a matter of time anyways we have to do this. We have to get our ass in gear and place the blocks. I like to place it to have at least the center of what I'm, we're actually building here, so. Uh, I think that's going to be imperative to do. All right. I just want to make sure we have everything else in queue here. Uh, let's do metal components. We have that much. We have 20 on this side. I'll put 
but it's two. Uh, electronics, we have to build a couple of those. Silicon, how much silicon do we have? Whoops, where's, there it is, silicon. Okay, so it's okay. We have to be careful which metals we're using too. Don't forget we have other kinds we, that use. If you guys, it's the first time here. It just takes a little while to get used to. Once you do, you'll see what I mean. It has a, you know, the ability of grabbing a lot of stuff and moving around, which is kind of cool. Oops. There we go. Put the small fuel right here. See capacitors, reactor core, and two computers we're going to need. So we really have to get our ass in gear and build it enough stuff here. And what else are we missing here? Maybe some cables. There we go. I think that's good. Copper, we have plenty of it. And metal pieces, how much should we have of that? We have 290 metal pieces. Do not have to build more of those. That's a pretty good start. <laughs> I think I must have overbuilt the last one. That's cool. All right, let's get our base starter kit down. I think we took level this, not mistaken. So strange I'm using on top of iron, all things. The one metal I, I cry for all the time. If you guys watch other videos, you know much I, I whine about that. I know it has to be flattish. I'm so used to building near water where you don't have to flat. Flatten all the stuff, but this one, supposedly, we need to flatten it and put the base starter kit down. they fix or not. It seems a little bit easier to use the flying tool. Yeah, I think they fixed it. It's definitely going a lot smoother. I can see the effects of it right away. It's, it's still harvesting too. It's kind of cool. Still not losing iron out of that. I was wondering if we're going to lose that. Good. A little hard to see, but we are doing good, I swear to you. I can barely see it too, but I can see that also it's getting flattened, so it's nice. Okay. Let's flatten this out nicely, so we have first Part of the base is all ready to go and it'll be all nice and easy to place all our blocks this is all preparation this is what we're doing now we're prepping we're prepping for you know our base our big base inside and it's not you can't skip steps for this there's no way of skipping steps not right i wish they would make the night a little bit faster though Get all prepped up and beautiful. We're getting experience points for this too, so wicked cool. And we have that big hole over here, but that's okay. Let's see. If oh shit! Hello. I might have messed up there a bit. There we go. Let's pick her up. Just for now, we're going to take her downstairs. And put her down there so we can see what the hell we're doing. Uh, we're going to put her right around here, I think. Seven. How about right here? Wow. Oh, bright. Do not adjust the screen. That is really that bright. Wow. Why does sound look different now? That kind of strange. It made a different sound all of a sudden. 
Oh, I'm gonna press wrong side. Hello, hello. Been a long day. This looks good. For a start, this looks pretty darn good here. Once I get some... Fun up a little bit more. Let's fly this side up a bit. There we go. Not sure it has to be even for all the other blocks too there. I just try and make it look as as nice, I guess, as possible for us to get ready while it's building on the other side, but I think that's good. I think that's a good start. Oh my god, it's so bright. Get me out of there. Okay. Alright, back to survival reconstruct to see what we're doing here. Yeah, it looks like it's turning out pretty good here. We have all the stuff we need that's being built and pretty fast rate. So we should probably put down our starter block. For next episode, we should be ready to go and place all that stuff down and go. So right now, we are looking good. Our hole is definitely a lot better. Uh, I wish there was an easier way to show you this. Not sure how good the flashlight is. I've not tested it if they changed it or not. Eh, you see, very narrow. But I think it's gonna look nice. We're gonna we're gonna have the ability to actually build this properly and get ourselves uh, nice and comfy down here. And then after, we'll worry about the building ramps and stuff out here. Uh, I'm thinking. This will be a first level and then a second level where we can drive in uh, our hovercraft on top of it, which will give it protection. So that's why I'm building a little bit deeper than usual. I'm trying to get one block, two blocks up, and then this will be more of a an area where they can protect it. And after we'll cover this with rock, uh, which is not hard to do either. You just go up here and just cover it up with your uh, your filler tool. So it's all good. It's not a not a big thing to do. So you just fill this baby up we can it'll be just fine and i have nice protection on top of it which is what we want the most perfect you see that that's what we're talking about right here nice and easy uh we'll close that all off and like i was saying it'll be really sweet to, to see how that's going to work out and i do believe that we're going to have amazing season this season hopefully it'll i don't mind them doing updates just don't need to make me lose my saves i don't know you're supposed to be a fix of doing it and how to go back and forth right now i'm actually banking them uh, as i save i'll actually bank them back out to make sure we don't lose them uh, so i'm actually doing a save of that to make sure that we're actually keeping everything in par and hopefully that will help us but i've heard people say they had horror stories for trying to import and everything wasn't working properly so We'll, we'll let it be. We'll let it be. All right, so thank you so much, guys. We're going to leave it here. Uh, so next episode, we are dropping those uh, that block, and we are going to get ourselves in gear. So thank you again. If you leave any uh, comments, tips, or tricks, always appreciate it. This is the for Game Edge, and I'll, and I'll catch you on the flip side. I was wondering what the hell that is.